Let's take a look at how video processing works in Images Plus 3. Uh, the video processing command is in the image set operations, second down from the top. And to open a video file, you use the select video button. There's two formats that you can use. SCR is a high quality 8, 12, or even greater 16-bit uh, video format that for Luminera cameras that's uh, created by a uh, Lucam recorder. And of course you can use uh, AVI files. So let's start with SCR and take a look at the, the general processing that we can do. Okay, now this is from a monochrome uh, Luminera camera 1392 by 1040 per frame. And there's uh, over a thousand frames, a thousand nine to be exact. This is a very large file. Um, with Images Plus, there's no limit to the number of frames that you can have in an SCR file or the size of the SCR file. The SCR file could be, well, I think I've tested up to 10 gigabyte files, and it you're really limited by your hard drive space. Uh, the processing is done in uh, actually 64-bit format, and then the stacked image is saved in a 16-bit in a file. Okay, uh, we have two tabs in video processing, display and save files. Uh, the display portion is up here, and it's just the standard video uh, play, stop. You can move the slider to position to a frame. Here we are at the end. Or you can use these buttons to move around. Um, the bottom part, save frames. If you want to uh, find a few frames that might be very sharp or of particular interest, and uh, just press the save button. Every time you do that, you'll save the frame that's currently displayed and uh, we're using 16-bit FITS format. And once you have some files saved, all of these other operations become available. If you want to see the list of files that you've saved, press the File List button. Here we have an input SCR file. And here we have three, uh, three output FITS files. If you click on one in the output, you'll, uh, you'll display it. Okay, so it gives you a way, the first tab, the Display and Save Files tab, gives you a way to display the, the uh, SCR file or AVI file, to play it, and to save particular frames from it. And if you use this option, All Files, and press Save, you'll save all of the files that are in the uh, video file as separate files. And then you can use these functions if you like. Now remember, we had three that I'd already saved. If I wanted to crop them, let's say I could press the crop button, do something like this, and then crop the three files. Uh, and these image set operations, they're covered in the help file and other, uh, other video clips on the CDs. So here I have an input frame, and here's the cropped version. Okay, so there's really a, there's a lot you can do. Once you save files, uh, you can apply any of these operations, grade, crop, combine, align, filter, resize. Filter allows you to apply a sequence of smoothing, sharpening filters. In fact, any of the filters from Images Plus to uh, each of the files in a background thread. Okay, And the function of this Display and Save Files tab, it's the same for either SCR files or AVI files. SCR files, color or monochrome, either one will play and, and operate the same. Now if we move over to the grade, calibrate, align, and combine tab, here's where we take the video file and uh, apply processing to it without splitting it into different files. Uh, I can grade, calibrate, align, and combine uh, based on how I uh, check these boxes down here. Uh, in this configuration, I'd grade and keep all of the A through F grades. 
then I'd align the graded files, then I'd combine. If I had flat or dark frames in a video file and I did nothing more than just combine them, save them as master calibration frames, and declared them up here in calibration setup, then I could use the calibrate option as well. And we'll take a look at doing that when I do the AVI part of this. Uh, but uh, generally what you do here is you grade, align, and combine. Uh, the alignment, it's a solar image, so I'm going to use the solar align option. It's already gray. I don't need to convert to gray. And uh, I just need to pick, pick a reference area to align. And... Uh, I'm gonna, not going to do grading on, on this one because it's a large file and it does take a bit of time. But if I wanted to grade and keep just the best images, say the A and B quality, I would just check A and B, grade here, and then press apply. It would grade them first, pull out the best A and B images, then align and combine them. Um, let's look at, let's just run a few of these. Here we're starting. Uh, we started at frame 535 because over here uh, I was pointing at an area that was uh, in the middle of the file. It's the way you can position. And I'm not going to let this run the whole way. You can stop at any time, press the cancel button, then press display, and that'll give you the stack of. Uh, of uh, the images that we went through so far. It looked like we went up to about 20 of them. Okay. Uh, co combination methods. Well, I was using average, excluded, min, max, graded average. If you're using the grade up here, sigma clip. Um, those would be the st uh, combination for stacking. Alignments, either solar, lunar, or uh, a planetary disk, which is automatic. And uh, that's basically all there is to it. If I wanted to process the whole file, uh, just press grade, press apply, and it would start at the beginning and grade all of them. And then once it went through all a thousand of them, kept only the A and B images, it would then align and combine the best images. So we'll cancel that. Okay, now let's look at uh, processing a planetary image. So I'm going to select an AVI file. Uh, no, I don't want to save. See what this is asking me is over here I saved three frames out of this uh, SCR file to my hard drive and I don't want to keep them so I'm going to say no. And then I'm going to go pick up an AVI file of Mars. Okay. Again, the Display and Save Files tab works the same as it does the SCR file. Uh, here, maybe we can run through this real quick. Uh, this will process, these are small images from a webcam. This will process fairly fast. Uh, those large Luminera cameras, uh, I mean, there's a lot of data in one of those SCR files. It's like three gigs. So it takes a little longer for it to practice. Or not practice, but process. Uh, this one we're going through and trying to pull out the uh, best uh, A grade images. And if you noticed here, I had planet as the alignment type because it is a planetary disk. I'm doing an average combination. I'm doing grade right now, calculating grades. And then once the grading is finished, which is almost is, it'll take the best A quality images and align and combine them. Now the grading's done on uh, image sharpness is the uh, way that the each frame is graded. The sharpest image gets the highest grade or the highest percentage between 0 and 1. Okay, it's almost finished grading. And it's going to process the graded frames. Uh, 
Uh, about halfway through. We'll let this finish. And then we'll take a look at how we'd add a calibration frame to it. If you like, at any point, you could stop, press the cancel, and uh, at that point, you'd have uh, a combination image that you could display by pressing this button. But since we're almost finished, I'm just going to wait a few more seconds here for it to. Uh... Okay, so it looks like we got 508 of the 508 images all came out uh, about the same quality. Now let's just run through this play once and take a look. Yeah, they do all look about like the same quality. I don't see a lot of seeing effects there. Okay. Uh, I've graded, aligned, and combined. Uh, now I'm going to display the combination. That's what I get. Now, this you can save to your hard drive. In fact, it is saved to your hard drive and uh, you could enhance it but uh, let me go through and show you how to make a calibration frame real quick and then uh, we could uh, take a look at enhancing this I'm going to minimize this image I'm going to come over and open up a dark frame which is really just like 200 frames uh, with no light reaching the webcam and I'm just going to combine them. And I'm going to display that and then save it as uh, Master Dark. Okay, then I can close it. Now over here on Calibration Setup, I want to select it and it's color so I want to have the color model set the color uh, there's my master dark and now I've set it up and I can use it for calibration so now I could go back through reselect Mars and this time we won't grade it we'll just run it through calibrate a line and combine and that should go fairly quickly Okay, now Images Plus is multi-threaded, so while this thing is running, I can open up, go back to this other image, and start to enhance it. Oh, the yellow frame around the, uh, the video frame here, the video frame window, means that a thread's running against that image. See, this image has a blue frame, which means that nothing, no operations running against it. When this uh, video calibrate a line combined finishes, this yellow will go back to blue, indicating that the operation is finished when you look at the uh, frame it's applied to. Okay. Uh, enhancement while this is running. Well, let's look at uh, this multi-resolution and uh, just increase it a little bit. A little too much there. Uh, that would be a good filter to use. Another sharpening filter would be, uh, I'm going to press the undo button to remove the multi-resolution and then use the, uh, let's use this statistical difference. This is a good one to use. Some of the sharpening filters. Actually, there's a whole range of sharpening filters, but the multi-resolution and uh, the statistical difference work well on planetary images. Okay, so this is an uncalibrated one. 
And it looks like this has finished. And see how this frame goes back to blue now? Okay. There's the uncalibrated. Let's display the calibrated one. And let's see if there's any difference here. Well, at this level, they both look the same. But let's apply, uh, let's apply that statistical difference to both of them again. And here I'm going to check the to all box. That'll apply statistical difference to both of these. There's the uncalibrated and the calibrated. If we keep going a little more. The uncalibrated one has this blue line of noise, some noise over here, and this one's a little bit less. Uh, calibration really be best used on uh, deep sky images with that Luminera camera. With the planetary image, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Okay, since they are such short exposures. But at any rate, that's how you would take a uh, a dark frame and uh, apply it. Alright, I think that pretty much covers everything on this video processing.